Collectors, to a first in this channel, we are uncovering the Spice Girls Girl Power Chupa Chups Fantasy Ball Strawberry Sticker Gumball Lollipops. Wow, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> so excited. Y'all, this is like history here, y'all. I am beyond, beyond, beyond excited to own this, to bring it to y'all. I don't even know where to begin, man. If you've seen the thumbnail, you probably know I will be opening one and tasting it 26 years later. Before we even dive into that, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Joe Pierre Joey. I'm a YouTube content creator and collector here at Art of Anything 80s, 90s, early 2000s nostalgia. Brings me back to my childhood, my teenage years, and here we are today with the Chupa Chup Spice Girl Lollipops. I cannot wait to talk about history on this. So much nostalgia as y'all uncover this video. And if the YouTube algorithm just happened to bring you here, it would mean the absolute world to connect with y'all. I upload content every Monday and Thursdays. So I would love to stay connected. We unbox everything, as I mentioned before. Um, and we're dabbing into candy, the realm of candy for the first time and vintage candy, which is so exciting. I also have at the two at the 2,000 subscriber mark, we are doing a $100 shopping spree giveaway. Uh, so go click the link in the description where my I have my website where I do sell a lot of my stuff. Click that website link um, and uh, one lucky person is going to win a $100 shopping spree on my website. So, so excited for that. So excited. So without further ado, let's dive in. So what is this all about? Let's zoom in while I talk about all the details. So in 1997... Uh, Chupa Chups partnered with Spice Girls, and this is an official product uh, right when the movie came out, and or prior to the movie coming out, and they created these strawberry lollipops, and they were absolutely beautiful. If you zoom in here, actually, you're going to zoom in here, um, the, each, uh, each package comes in this bright pink and white um, packaging and inside you get one lollipop what's really awesome is that you can collect up to 24 stickers yes 24 stickers you can collect I'm gonna put up a picture right here of all the stickers in the collection leave that up for a moment for you to uh, uh, just for y'all to, 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 to remember and enjoy that was the complete 24 collection sticker collection um, and the hardest sticker to get was the baby spice. She was so challenging, y'all. I remember as a kid, I had a, I traded stickers to get her as a sticker. Like I think I traded like five stickers just to have her because a a, a, a girl in I think I was in fifth grade when these came out. Nineteen ninety seven. I was in fifth grade. I had a trade with her in order to get these. I'll never forget nineteen ninety seven. I was eight years old. Um, I was eight. Yeah, I was eight years old when these launched. Um, and this was like, this was the thing. Like, it was insane. And I lie, because if these came out in 1997, I want to be right about that. Um, yeah, 1997. I was eight years old. So I wasn't in fifth grade. I was in fourth grade. <laughs> so I was in fourth grade when these came out. But these were popular. When these came out, they each retailed for 50 cents. These were popular for like from 97 till like about late 98. They were still making these. And at the time, they were quite expensive. They were 50 cents each when the traditional lollipop cost about 10 to 10 cents. At most, 25 cents you pay for a lollipop. These were 50 cents. So these were a lot more expensive than your traditional lollipops. And um, what was really exciting is these were infused with air and in order to open the packaging, you had to squeeze the air out. It would pop open and it was part of the experience and inside there was a sticker and then the lollipop. And as you zoom in on the details, the top of the lollipop was this clear white and then inside you could see like this tattoo imprinted uh, picture. So that is at Spice World where it had one of the five uh, Spice Girls on it. Um, and the bottom layer was this like red layer and inside that was a gumball. So where you had that imprint, the gumball had that little tattoo imprint and you can see that. Um, this was the best tasting lollipop ever. Outside of the fact that um, 
that uh, these Chupa Chups were just incredible. The strawberry flavor was just amazing. You didn't really experience the flavor. It was like a strawberry cream flavor. It was like nothing I've tasted before. Until, until that, this moment, I've never yet had a lollipop that tastes just as amazing as this. It was literally one of my favorites. As you can see here, it does say squeeze to open. So it's right there as well. Um, yes, oh, I'm so excited. And what I'm really excited is we're gonna open one of these. Now, before we open them, let's talk about price point. What do these retail for now, right? So these are 50 cents. You can purchase these now in the secondary market for about 20 to $30 each one. Depending on the Spice Girls, the Spice Girl, uh, it could be more expensive. Now, um, I did have my cousin who used to be a manager until this day, he still is a manager at Costco, and he gifted me, he knew how much I loved these. And I remember uh, it was like one Christmas morning, it was the day after Christmas, I think it was like Christmas morning, um, I was gifted a box of 24 of these, which was freaking amazing. I completed all my sticker collection minus that baby spice, which I got later. And I did manage to get this sealed official product. So it is a sealed product, factory sealed. It has 24. I do not plan on selling these or opening these ever. This is going to be a part, this is going into my vault and into my collection. Uh, this is a part of just freaking history. If you were around in the late 90s when the Spice Girls were the it group, and to this day, the world's top selling girl group of all time, you would know the hype of what this meant being a kid or a teenager in the 90s living their moment through Spice World, uh, the movie, and the Spice Girls. Just incredible nostalgia here. I mean, I'm just beyond myself. 45 calories, by the way, if you were interested. 4% <laughs> carbs, no sodium, uh, and 12 grams of sugar. Oh my god, this is a freaking iconic. This is so iconic. Oh my god, I can't even right now. Like, I cannot even right now. This is just amazing, amazing, amazing. So, here we have it. Now, because this is so old, we are actually going to open this, and I'm going to try one. So, yeah, I'm doing this for y'all. You're welcome. 26 years later, now the air has completely dissolved out of this, so there's no air in here. Though It's not tampered at all. There's no holes, but that air just dissipated within the foil. So wish me luck, let's dive in, let's zoom in, and what sticker are we gonna get? You know it'd be ironic if I get the Baby Spice sticker. Like that would be insane, insane, insane. No, I can't believe I'm doing this. This is $30, y'all. $30 just for y'all. Oh my God, I can't believe we're doing this. Is it gonna smell the same? Is it gonna be rotten? It, I mean, I'm so curious right now and I'm like afraid. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. This is insane, insane. Oh God, we're opening it. We're at the point of no return. I'm curious, I'm gonna smell it. Okay, I am getting no smell whatsoever, nothing. I don't want to even look at the sticker. I don't even want to look at it. Is it open? <gasps> OMG. Okay, we got something there. Oh, y'all, this is crazy. Okay, let's zoom in on the lollipop. <laughs> so the lollipop, like I mentioned before. Now, one thing that happened, it got mattified a lot. So obviously, this has been 26 years around. There's like something melting here, like oozing out. Yeah, I can't believe I'm going to be eating this. This is nasty. Um, uh, do it. Do it for the subscribers, right? <laughs> uh, so... This used to be high gloss and it was like clear see-through. You can't see what's the tattoo, like who the who the person is underneath the tattoo. You can't see that at all. This was again clear, it's now matted, and this yellowed. So it's no longer white clear, it's yellowed. So there you have it, right? Um, I do remember now that these were the plastic, the Chupa Chups were known for their plastic, um, these plastic uh, sticks. 
Um, and if you blew through them, it kind of makes a whistling noise. Oh, these were amazing. And sometimes a lot of the product would get stuck in there, which is so annoying. <laughs> uh, but I'm so excited. Wow. All right. Before we open that up, we got the sticker. And I'm really excited about the sticker we got here. Wow, well, there's a little piece right there. I can probably try that first. We got sticker number three of 24, and it's of all the Spice Girls. <gasps> oh, this is awesome, y'all. It's all five of them. As we zoom in on those details, we got sticker number three of 24. Oh my God. Now this does not smell at all like the actual product. I'm definitely gonna keep this. This is amazing. Um, it does not, before when you open these, it was pungent of strawberry. You don't get that anymore. So I'm really like, now I'm kind of scared of what this is gonna taste like. So I might gag here. Who knows? Stay tuned. Well, here's a little sliver of something that melted. So it looks like this was kept near the sun. Not a good, not a good sign. Um, so let's give this a whirl. It's sticky. And it's sticking to my teeth. A subtle flavor. And I taste the strawberry but it's very mild and faint, does not taste like the original. Again, that was just that piece. Let's dive in. So without further ado, let's dive in and let's do this. All right, <laughs> my thoughts. You do get the strawberry. It is nowhere near as what I remembered it to be. It's not as pungent at all. It is there. I'm curious if we dive further into, into it, if we're going to experience um, more flavor to it, and maybe this that top layer is because it's kind of stale, but it does taste like strawberry, but it does not taste like the original. The original was like the moment you put it in your mouth, like jam packed of strawberry flavor. It has lost a lot of its flavor. So that, I will say, I'm so curious to know who is the sticker, uh, who's the tattoo gumball of on the bottom. And if you want to know who it is, <laughs> Go follow me on TikTok because that's definitely going to be a video for TikTok. And I'm going to uncover who the bubblegum is, what the, what the uh, tattoo print on the bubblegum is. So curious and knowing. And again, before when you bought these, it was clear and transparent. You would tell, but now you can't. But God, this was amazing. This was my childhood, man. This was, this was me growing up in elementary school. Like the 90s were all about like gum. It was all about like candies. I remember... <clears throat> A huge group of myself and a lot of my friends, we'd come, we'd have like a $2 or $5 budget a week. Uh, like our parents would give us like an allowance and we would just go to the grocery store in New York, the bodegas, and we would just stockpile a bunch of candy. We'd all like collect candy, put it in the center at lunchtime or during recreational time, and we'd all just share each other's candy. It was the most amazing thing ever. And it was so iconic to the 90s. A lot of that, you know, it no longer exists. Again, if you were a 90s, an 80s kid I really think it's like the best era to ever be a kid kids just don't have it the same as we once did and the amount of nostalgia this is bringing is just insane 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 and I'm so curious do you remember these does this unlock a memory for you I know it just unlocks so many for me um, I just oh, I'm so 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 excited I'm so thrilled to own this um, just over the moon um, Thank you for being here. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you want to see more videos of vintage candy, I am definitely be more than open to bring that to bring that to y'all. And I appreciate you all so much for being here, for supporting our channel, and for being a part of our collective. Stay amazing. Don't forget to hit that smash button below. Give this video a thumbs up. Girl power. Until the next one. Over and out. Bye.